Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Wallace. In today's video, we'll be looking at electricity and we'll be looking at uh, battery connections. Uh, if you have not seen the other videos, please check them out because we did uh, the whole foundation for electricity and understanding what current is, what voltage is, and also calculating for the total resistance either in a series connection or in a parallel connection. So in this video, we'll just do a bit of just trying to understand how batteries can be connected. It can either be a series or it can be a parallel. Remember what I said that uh, with electricity, you need to understand the second, what type of connection you are having. If it's a parallel connection or if it's a series, do not just jump into analyzing the second. The first step is to know what type of a connection it is. Is it a parallel or is it a series? Here on the board we have, these are two cells. These are connected in, in series. And again, we have got two cells that are connected in parallel. So the way these cells will behave is different from the way these cells will behave, uh, similar to what we did with the resistors. So if you have not seen the videos, uh, please check them out and it will make much more sense for you to understand this, uh, this, uh, this lesson for today. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe uh, so that you may get notified uh, whenever I post uh, new videos. So in this video, like I said, electricity can be very dangerous. We're not going to do any experiments, but the good thing is that we are going to use a simulator. And there are many simulators out there that you can use just for you to understand electricity. Instead of you doing practical or experiments with electricity, I advise that you use simulators. They are far much safer than doing the electricity itself. No matter how low the voltage might be, uh, electricity can be very dangerous. Okay, so our simulator for, for today, I'm using simulator. Uh, it has a lot of other topics that you can explore. It's a very good uh, simulator for, for me. Okay, so we just go straight into our lab and we are going to build a small circuit that will just be first we'll do with a series connection and see what happens. We'll use some, uh, we just use some, uh, some battery. We have a battery there. We have two batteries. And then uh, let's, let's put a, a light bulb then every circuit should have uh, a switch so let's put a switch in there just that our circuit can, we can control whenever we we want to we want our electricity to flow in there okay so basically that is our 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 circuit we have a light bulb it can be a resistor or it can be a light bulb or it can be anything that is using electricity but for for today our main focus is on the on the battery so we have a battery on this one which is uh, a nine volt battery and we have another battery which is a nine volt battery so uh, in all here's our voltmeter remember what we said the voltmeter measures voltage so this voltmeter is going to measure the voltage across the whole battery which is kind of a series connection so we can see that our voltage is 18 volts. If I measure across just one cell, we have nine volts. On the other one, it goes to 18 volts. So that is how much voltage will, will be supplied in this circuit. If we switch on, our light bulb is flowing like that. With this simulator, we can see those electrons flowing. So we are on electron flow. Our current flow is showing the electrons flow. Remember, electrons are negatively charged. So we're having the negative terminal, the electrons are flowing in that way, but uh, I'll change to conventional flow of electricity. Conventional flow of electricity says that electricity flows from positive going to the negative. If they ask you about electron flow, electrons move from the negative going to the positive. Okay, so we can see that our voltage is 18 volts. Our circuit is flowing. The light bulb is on. Uh, our light bulb has a resistance of 10. So uh, remember what we said, current flowing in a circuit is equal to the voltage uh, of the resistance. So our voltage in all, we have two cells. One is nine volts. So plus the nine volts, our resistance is 10 volts. So over 10 is equal to 1.8 amps. Okay, so let's just see what's going there and it is 1.8. Okay, so with the current, 
the current will always be the same at any point whether we measure in the battery we we'll still have 1.8 whether we measure at that point we we'll still have 1.8 because what we said is that current uh, depends on the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance and then we said in a series connection like this one we have made it will be the same throughout at any point in this circuit okay so with this simulator you can even change to display the circuit symbols or you can display the, the light bulbs and the battery and so on okay let's just switch off so that we see we have our our voltmeter thing our voltmeter is measuring voltage across that then we can also see our circuit in that form okay if you want you can display your values our switch has zero ohms our batteries is nine volts nine volts okay let's now try and build a, a circuit that is connected in parallel uh we are not going to change anything but we'll just connect them in parallel okay okay there we have it we have our our circuit we have not changed anything uh the values or we have not changed any of the components we have our 10 ohm light bulb we have our eight nine nine volts voltage and nine volts voltage but the only thing we have changed is that they are now connected in parallel they are not connected in series the cells are now connected in parallel so if we switch on we have our electricity flowing the light bulb is on uh, uh, using the conventional electricity flow uh, the electricity is flowing let's measure our voltage and see what happens to our voltage so here's what we have the voltage is now nine volts so remember what we said voltage in a parallel remains the same so the voltage will remain the same but then this cell and that cell the nine volts they when it releases current and this current from the other cell they meet at this point they will add up let's see how much current will flow or we can first before we see that we can calculate to say if our voltage is equals to nine volts using the same formula our resistance is 10 volts our current is going to be over 10 we have 0 0.9 amps okay let's just see that is how much our current is 0 0.9 amps at that point is 0 0.9 at that point is 0 0.9 in our cells of 0 0.5 so each each cell is bringing 0 0.5 the other one also brings 0 0.5 and in total they add up at that point and at that point we are getting 0 0.9 amps okay so uh, current at a junction will add up or either split the current 0 0.9 coming this point at this point when it reaches the junction it splits you have 0 0.5 going that side and 0 0.5 going the other way so uh, with this type of connection it is easy to understand so uh, the other thing that i want us to also consider is that with the simulators you are able to play around with it and see what happens and so on so now the question would be what if one of the cells was having a different voltage uh, what if one of the cells was having a different voltage what happens what would be the total voltage well in that case it would be the average voltage so let's say if maybe this was uh, 8 volts the other one was 9 volts uh, the voltage that would be released would be an average voltage but in this uh, scenario uh, is that the voltage will start flowing around the circuit one battery with the higher voltage will start uh, charging the other battery and then eventually they'll blow up so let's try and let's let's just try and see what really happens if 
if one of the cells was having a higher voltage than the other so uh, in this simulator we're going to reduce let me reduce this one already you can see that there is a uh, current that is flowing among us, uh, this circuit and our cells have, have blown up without even electricity flowing to the other connection all right so let's let's try and, and bring it back to nine okay electricity is flowing we open the circuit maybe this will help us already it blows up just by a fraction 0 0.1 uh, the system or parallel connection will blow up. So, like I said, electricity can be very dangerous, even if it is a small amount of voltage that you're dealing with. So, simulators are much safer. That is why I choose to, to experiment with simulators than actual electricity. Okay, so then how do we fix this? Well, we know that uh, cells have got an internal resistance. So, let's just try and put some battery resistors in there. Maybe this will help, okay? But you can see that there is already current that is flowing. So one of the batteries will be heating up, which is basically this one, to be heating up because it is receiving a voltage. So I've added 0 0.9, 0, uh, 1 amp on it, 1 ohms. So we have added 1 ohm to the battery resistance. So that will also affect the rest of the resistance because it will be 1 and 1. These two resistors are in parallel. One, up, one ohm and one ohm then parallel if we add them up it will add to the type of resistance so we are going to have uh, remember two resistors in in parallel the resistance goes down which will be half of that so basically what you are having is for the resistance of the cell uh, this cell is having a resistor there one ohm and this is having a resistor there one ohm so what you have is, like we said, resistors in parallel is equals to resistor 1 plus re times resistor 1 times resistor 2, resistor 1 plus resistor 2. So what we have is 1 times 1, then we have 1 plus 1, basically which is uh, 1 over 2, 0 0.5 ohms. So with these resistors, the resistance of the batteries, we have a total resistance from the battery, we have a total resistance of 0 0.5 amps, and it will add to that 10. So in other words, the total resistance of this circuit is the 10 ohm from the light bulb plus the 0 0.5, and then we have in 10.5 ohms. Okay, now hope you can see that. So, which will now also affect the total uh, resistance that will take that will, will be happening in this circuit. Okay, so if we read our current, current is zero zero because we have closed, we have opened our circuit, it is not flowing. But once we close, we are going to have a current that will be uh, different from the first current because now the resistance has increased. So the current that will flow because to voltage over resistance, we have our voltage 9 volts, we have 10,5. We work our calculators. Uh, we should expect a current of 0 0.57 or 0 0.86 amps. Okay, let's see if that's what we are getting, 0 0.86 amps. Uh, that is what we have so basically uh, simulators are much easier they you you will be doing the same calculations but simulators give you what uh, a better experiment than if we were to do this ourselves so basically that is what you have with with uh, cells connected either in parallel or cells connected in series so like we said uh, the batteries have an internal resistance. That internal resistance will be in parallel. You deal with them as they are resistors. If the batteries are connected in series, the battery will have a resistance and you calculate it as, uh, as resistors in, in series. If it is in parallel, you calculate them as resistors in parallel. And then you find the average current. If it is a parallel connection, 
it will give you a, an average current. If it is a series connection of batteries, the voltage will just add up and you have a total voltage. Well, a series connection of batteries is very easy compared to a parallel connection of, of series. Like we have seen from our simulator, uh, chances of connecting batteries that are not equal, you have you you blow up your, your battery connection if you connect batteries that are of different values. All right, so that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, try out different simulators out there. There are a lot of simulators. Try them out with this simulator. I I, I want to give a thumbs up to, to the creators of this simulator. I really enjoy it even for my lessons. Uh, and it also gives a better understanding of what is really happening. So please subscribe, please uh, share these videos and I hope to see you next time.